Hello, friends. Welcome back to that 1870s homestead. My name's Rachel, and I was in my last video telling you guys I was about to head up to my favorite farmer's market, which is Bloggs. It is in southeast Michigan on Middle Belt in Eureka, and it's just the best. And I brought home the, the things I went for and a little bit more, and I know a lot of you have been interested since I'm not gardening this year. Do I plan on like supplementing anything? And I knew going into it, yes, I would need onions and potatoes, but let me tell you what else I got. Some things might surprise you, some things might seem pretty reasonable. So not a lot, but this is what I got. Okay, so I just got everything unloaded and Todd walked in and said, that makes our kitchen happy. <laughs> That's what our kitchen counter should look like in summer with fresh produce on it. So I'm gonna start with the fun things. So one of the fun things was they did have a lot of herbs um, still available and I don't have any feverfew growing. So I bought some feverfew, which I'm really excited about, adding to my herb garden. I bought two large zucchini because one can never have enough shredded zucchini stored up. And while I have a lot freeze dried and a lot in my um, freezer still, I'm gonna add just these two to stock, just to stock it up or um, continue just to enjoy um, some fresh zucchini this summer. I did buy myself a little bag of grapes because that's a typical purchase at a grocery store and they had them there. The neat thing about this store is the this farmer's market is they do bring in a lot from the U.S. So um, while the bulk of it for, with respect to fresh produce is locally grown in, here in Michigan, they are able to supplement their farmer's market from all across the United States. So um, there might be a few products that they even bring in from like Mexico, but I think that that's like as far as they go. Um, I try to buy everything that I know is as fresh as fresh can be from, you know, the United States region. I bought my big 55 pound bag of Idaho potatoes. Those will just go down in the pantry in storage. My 25 pound bag of onions. Um, so the potatoes did come from Idaho. The onions came from New Mexico. Um, last year's onions came from Texas what, at the time when I bought them. So they must source from different farms depending on how well things are doing and the prices that they can get. Um, and a 25 pound bag of red onions um, that also came from New Mexico. Zucchinis came from Michigan. I bought two heads of cabbage. Those came from Michigan. I bought seven bunches of broccoli that I'll just chop up and process for the freezer. Um, those were Michigan grown. And then as we were getting there, the tractors were rolling in with all the fresh corn. So um, my daughter-in-law went with me and her mom wanted corn. Their corn is always a crazy price there. Um, and it's like two big, basically grocery bags that you can stuff and you can have it falling out the top to buy two, get one free. And the buy two price was two bags for $6. So I just shoved in some extra and pulled out three years of corn just for fresh eating for us this week. And my daughter-in-law got peppers and a bunch of other things so she's ready to go and this is I think I'll do probably one at least one more trip up there because um, I will probably do another round of broccoli um, I think we're down to one quart bag in the freezer so I would like to have plenty of broccoli stored up and I always love their Brussels sprouts in fall I don't really need any these cabbages um, I thoroughly enjoyed last year having cabbage steaks in the freezer and I just slice them fresh. I don't do anything. Slice them fresh, vacuum seal them um, in a bag like one inch cabbage steaks 
and they're good to eat as a cabbage steak, but they're also good to just then chop up and stir fry or things like that. So, onions. We are ordering a cow um, that's coming this fall, like a processed quarter of a cow, and I will always get the bones to make my own bone broth and beef broth and onions make the best French onion soup. So I may go back and get a smaller bag of white onions for restocking our French onion soup because I think we're down to like two pints of that. But these will just be storage onions and they'll usually last us like April-ish. So from now till April, I should have onions stored up. All right, so prices, let me tell you, uh, they don't tell you on the receipt what your price was for that you bought. So the zucchini were a dollar, uh, or maybe two for a dollar, something like that. The cabbages, um, I don't know, two for three, no. They were two for 99 cents, something like that. It was a crazy price on the cabbages, maybe like 50 cents a piece. The broccoli was um, $1.50 a bunch or $2, or um, two for, maybe it was $1.99 a bunch or two for $3, something like that. And I got seven bunches of that. The potatoes all in the onions were, there's prices on here, 25, 24, and 28. So I'd imagine those belong to these three. I just don't know which was which. I would assume the $23 one was the red onions, but maybe it was the potatoes. I'm not really sure. So all in all, not bad pricing considering that this goes a really long way for us and will be many, many, many meals in the future. Um, but yeah, I thought I would just share with you what is my first farmer's market haul of the year look like, and this is it. So I'll be sure to bring you the next ones if we go again and uh, what I'm adding to stock from farmers across America and local farmers here in Michigan. And I would encourage you to do the same. Um, you know the produce that you're getting is the optimal freshness. It hasn't traveled across freighters for three months before it hits your grocery store aisle. And uh, yeah, so thanks for coming with me and I will see you guys on the next video.